Thanks for sharing a few minutes of your time. I'd like to show you MutualLink's community-wide multimedia secure information sharing platform that allows you to share any media on any device over any network. The desktop that which MutualLink runs on will run on a variety of different platforms, including Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, tablets, smartphones, laptops. In the desktop environment, the panel is made up of agencies throughout the world that are constantly online and able to participate on an ad hoc basis within an invitation, by invitation only within an incident that you create on the desktop. The participating agency names the incident and this is designed to let the uh, agency receiving the invitation to know exactly why they're being contacted. This could happen in any community, whether you are a, a school, a shopping mall, a casino, a place of, um, of um, mass gathering, uh, airports, et cetera, hospitals. Everybody maintains communications infrastructure and at any given moment could be called upon to share their communication resources with the first responder. So we do this by creating quick incidents on the screen and then identifying those agencies that might be able to help us. For example, if we look to the Atlantic City area where the casino industry participates very heavily in MutualLink, all of the communication assets at each of these casinos are connected. This is done by means of a very uh, minimal hardware connection to the video surveillance systems and or radio systems. And we can simply identify any of the agencies that we'd like to interoperate with by picking them from the list and left click and dragging them quickly into an incident. And if we do this, we wait for them to answer them. We actually have a two-way conversation with them using the intercom button or the TX button. Intercom, if we're talking directly to the operator. I know, I forgot to wrap. Hello, Brigada. Uh, this is just a brief operations check. I'm wondering if you could just uh, briefly share some video with us and perhaps bring your radio in at the same time. This shouldn't take more than a minute. Copy that, stand by. And at the same time I've contacted the Borgata Casino, I can also bring in my smart device. And at the same time, I can play the video from the casino. And I can play that video And Brigada, reading your radio transmissions loud and clear. Thank you. And Brigada, receiving good video. If you could hold that there for just a minute. Thank you. While connected to Brigada, I can also communicate over their radio system again by pressing the red TX button or have a conversation with the surveillance operator privately in an encrypted incident using just the intercom button. In addition, I can exchange text and simple messages with them. Or if the need be, we can share files with each other by a drag and drop file system. We could share building uh, floor plans or uh, images that have been taken some time ago and allow us to complete the incident. Text received from Brigada. So when the incident's completed, we can simply announce that the incident has been completed and we can ask the participating agencies to drop out. Brigada, thank you very much. You may clear your video and close station. Thanks a lot for your help. Appreciate it. Have a great day. Copy that anytime. Have a good one. So here we've created a, an ad hoc incident. We've shared communication resources, both radio and video surveillance. We shared some text messaging. We showed how the network is a community-wide network. It's invitation based and essentially we were able to take any media on any device and transport it over any network and we can do that using a variety of uh, smart devices laptops and everybody is constantly available in the network to participate thank you very much for your time